Welcome to TV Burp, talking sheep on Tales of the National Parks. You know, I think the park authority have to get the reasons. Paddy talks in time with Marlon's chopping on Emmerdale. How about a lad's night out? And Turkey does an impression of a car being locked on Aid in Britain. There you go, mind your heads. <laughs> It was interesting to see consultant Dylan trying to teach someone how to do the Coronation Street theme tune on Casualty this week. I want you to breathe in very slowly for me, okay? Slowly. Slowly. And out slowly. Tomorrow we'll try the Antiques Roadshow theme. <laughs> Ray Mears is back with his new show, Wild Britain, in which he spots stray animals. He took to the water and managed to spot some naturally occurring poppadoms. As the water gets deeper, the rack is replaced by his brown sugar cup. Yeah, typical Ray, wherever he goes on a country walk, he sees food. This algae contains all sorts of vitamins, you get vitamin K and A. It's very nutritious, very rich in minerals, in iodine, and it even contains protein. Fresh seaweed, packed full of vitamins and minerals. I'm having some of that. Yeah, mm, I might have a few uh, poppadoms as well. Uh, mm, I mean, uh, mm, I mean, uh, oh, no, it doesn't taste nice, but if it's doing you good. Would be the perfect food, but if you eat too much of it, it can have a, an unfortunate effect on your bowels. <laughs> oh, get that. Oh. Oh, thanks for the chip, Ray. <laughs> River Cottage Veg now, and Hugh was in his element in the British summer. The British summer is synonymous with sandcastles, sandwiches, bats, balls and... Looting. <laughs> I got a 32-inch plasma from Ladbrokes, but if anyone out there's got the remote, stick it in the post, would you? <laughs> Hugh visited Sashiko and Pak, a Japanese couple who had turned their back on modern kitchen appliances. There's a strong Japanese tradition of preserving veg by pickling, which suits Sachiko and husband Pak, as they've made what some would regard as a drastic lifestyle choice. We don't have fridge either. You don't have a fridge? We don't, no. There is no fridge in this house. Don't have a fridge? Where'd you put your magnets? <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the menu at Sashiko's household tonight, Hugh? This is miso, which is what this soup is all about. What actually is it? This is uh, soya bean. Mm. Fermented? Fermented, yeah. This is two years old. And that's what you end up eating if you ain't got a fridge. <laughs> you seem particularly enamoured with the lady of the house. I was really quite tickled by Sushiko's quick pickle in a bag technique. I bet you were. <laughs> eh? Right under Mr. Pack's nose and all. <laughs> Oh, on a lighter note, it was nice to see Hugh's gardening friend, Mike. I particularly liked his hair. A few minutes down the road, allotment guru Mike has a more free-form style of veg gardening and permaculture. Yeah, I like your hair, mate. <laughs> Actually, my hair's a bit like that when it gets wet. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just pop it in this bowl of water and, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'll just pop it in the water and it does tend to get... It does tend to get a little bit... Yeah, it's a right pain on holiday, but I find a little bit of frizzies on that. A little bit of frizzies. Uh, now, it should just... Normally, it just calms it. Uh, yes, I can feel it uh, calming it down. Uh, it's just... Yes, it's beginning it's just to settle. It's just... It's definitely working. Oh, we've had that one. We've had that one. No, the, the small... The, the short... The shorter one. <laughs> oh, well, you get the... You get the... Uh, no, too late, too late. <laughs> I must 
say, I do like Carson the butler's new catchphrase on Downton Abbey. Well, you've got to have a catchphrase, haven't you? Is it really true? Please, I have asked for silence, and silence I will have. <laughs> I have asked for silence and silence. I will have. Well, let's have a look at your scoreboard. Britain won, the Germans still. No. <laughs> Very well done to you. <laughs> One of the great things about Downton was seeing the old technology that was in use, like what they used to use in the days before the iPod. <laughs> it was the last Downton, and the cast took the news on the chin. Let's be strong, Mary. And let's accept that this is the end. Of course it's the end. How could it not be? Well, there's a Christmas special. <laughs> That's if any of the cast are left. Yeah, they were struck down with a mystery illness. What was causing it? I thought this might tide you oh. off. Oh. Mr. Carson, whatever's the matter? Oh, I'm sure I'll be all right if I can just stay still for a moment. Oh. Mr. Mosley, what's happened? Have you taken that in yet? I'm not well. I'm not well at all. The awful truth is, I'm not quite all right. And I'm afraid I'm going to ask you to excuse me. Lavinia? Do you know, I'm not at all well either. I wonder if I could lie down for a minute. Of course. More seaweed, anyone? <laughs> Poppadom? <laughs> Lavinia? Excuse me. Mm. Good childish. I must say, I felt rather sorry for one of the cows on the Great British Food Revival this week. His horns looked a bit wonky. The butchers tell me that the marbling of... Let me see if I can just... Oh, hang on. We're losing the picture. <laughs> I've turned it onto BBC One now. ITV is going to kill me. <laughs> What's that? What's that program? <laughs> Must be BBC Three. <laughs> oh, that's better. Sorry, mate. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Peter Andre is getting up to on Peter Andre, My Life. <laughs> Must be a wrong number. <laughs> Which brings us to our TV highlight of the week. TV highlight of the week. Can I invite your views? Are there any counter proposals? This was Tales from the National Parks, and in the local bed and breakfast in Loch Lomond, proprietors Chris and Angelo were busy discussing the refreshments available in the ensuite room. Yes. It's a nice room. It has a lot of light. I like, I must say, I personally like a custard cream. I agree with you. They are no, the favourite. If you also like the, um, that, uh, what's the other one without the icing on? The, um... The jam biscuit. No, not the jam one. The ginger nuts. I have a weakness, I can't help it, I have a weakness for ginger biscuits. Oh, yes. 
Do you like um, Jamie Dodgers? I don't know what a Jamie Dodger is, but I recall a penguin biscuit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like a custard cream, but then I like a jammy dodger. Ginger biscuits are nice, but there's always a penguin. But which is better? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Jimmy Dodger!